Hello everyone, creator of the mod back again. This is gonna be a video for people like who wanna set up an automatic login system to their Game Jolt API on the click team. Cause I figured out how to do it. Couldn't find a way on YouTube or Google. So I figured why not make a tutorial myself. So yeah, this will be the video talking about how to do it. So first what you want to do is you're going to have to download what's it called the Game Jolt API. You can find it on Google. I'll put a link in the description uh, for the Game Jolt API app. Uh, MFA, I mean, which is this basically. Now what you want to do on your project right here, not a frame one, you're going to want to add uh, insert an object with any and not an I and I any right here and name it what you want so I'm gonna name it I don't know um login test there you go you can name the login test and we're gonna go over here we're gonna do this copy these copy all of them just to be safe but i'm i don't really have to copy all of them i'm gonna paste it on the side and there you go you've got this we're also gonna go back here i'm gonna copy these so all this login and that's it yeah copy now we're gonna put it into your frame wherever you want it there you go, purple. You've got all of this, right? We're gonna go back quickly. We're not actually gonna go into the frame editor. If you want, you can do in a, a group of events, call it, I don't know, saving. And you're gonna do either always or start a frame. I was gonna do always. Now your any, you're gonna do set current file. And here you're gonna do your any name. So mine was login test don't any now what you're gonna do is go back here examples and you're gonna copy this and this both of these go here and paste now you don't need to change anything in here like it says so don't put anything in there and here you have the login so there's gonna be a button is clicked and it's gonna check for your uh, credentials on game job right what i'm gonna do is if you don't want if you're if you're gonna have like a streamer player game or something i'd suggest going on password here on token box and doing a password so they cannot people cannot see what you're typing you know you don't want to get hacked or anything look at me this and uh, what you're gonna do is go into your mfa project Values and in global stream, you're gonna create two new strings. Got the username, the user, whatever, just whatever. And here, I don't know, key. There you go, username and key. Get this. So when your button is clicked, it's gonna check, uh, you know, the uh, username and the token if it's good. And you're gonna go on this one where it says login true. You're gonna go here, your any. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure, yeah, your any. And set value string. Here you're gonna name whatever you want. So put whatever you want. I'm gonna do user. And set a string to the username box. And here, and get text like this. And you're gonna do the same for the password so this name it key or password or whatever you want key token box get text so that's the beginning done now you're gonna do a start of frame i guess but yes start of frame start of frame and also an end of frame okay let's let's start a start of frame start of frame you're gonna set username box, set text, editing, set text. Here you're gonna go 
any string. No. And here you're gonna put the value that you put in user. Value user from your ini and set username to the value from your ini. No, name user. So you're gonna set the string to what it was. I'm gonna do the same here. Put this there. Set the string to whatever you named it. So me key. And that should be pretty much it, I think. If you want. At the end of frame, you can also do that string. I don't know, the user again to the value. If you want, I don't think this really matters, but you can do it if you want. And string. There you go. That way you're 100% sure it's good. What you want to do is in login example, I guess, you're going to add a start of frame. Just, do, okay, this should be either okay i'm getting lost in saving or in login example you want to do this basically set the string so imagine i didn't put this in here it's in here you know but you can leave it in here if you want or you can migrate it here. So you're gonna have a starter frame it's gonna set these to whatever your value was and then what you want to do is add a timer here set an event do, I don't know, 15 milliseconds, that's what I do. 15 milliseconds, and name it whatever you want, so I don't know, log, there, log. Now, in, in condition, on event, log, you're gonna basically just do this. This should technically work. We're gonna also add quickly an an object just to see if it does work. What I actually also do is I add a global value here named uh, logged in. I'm gonna quickly implement that logged in. And if login is true, I'm gonna set this one. logged in it at zero when this is true I'm gonna quickly make a little sprite check mark there you go and this should appear if it does log you in either you can do the check mark solution or the value one it'll work both ways I'm pretty sure you appear and invisible no, invisible we're gonna test it play As you can see it does it, it, it says this wait it shouldn't do that actually wait yeah forgot you, you, you need to make a game i'm gonna do this real quick we're gonna make a game you can see so when you're on game build what you're gonna do is go in your profile games your games and I'm gonna use this test one that I used over here in your game with a managed game game API API setting here you're gonna need the game key and the private key so you're gonna copy the game key now go here click on this one enjoy API game key place it in here go into private key which i'm not going to show i don't want you seeing it you know go back onto here game game key here game key game key paste it and that should be pretty much good i'm pretty sure if you run yeah it says no such user because in, then there's nothing in these boxes. You're gonna log in. I'm gonna log into my account. And here you can see 
it's not showing my password. So I'm gonna click login and you're logged in. So I'm not gonna show these. It doesn't say anything yet. You can see it's logged in. So technically if you close the app, click play again. Okay, I did something wrong. Okay, I think I figured it out. On the end of frame here, you're gonna wanna go spec on the uh, special conditions. Change global string surname, and you're gonna wanna do this. Set string, I get string, and user, you know, your, your value. You're gonna do the same for your key. right there username and key technically work believe will no username logged in logged in didn't say anything yet close it let's see if it works wait does it not work why does it not work okay so i fixed the issue so over here, when it says end of frame, set username, string value username to user and key to user to key, um, you're gonna have to put this here as well. You're gonna have to place this at the end of frame to log in here, uh, alongside the logged in to one. And this fixes it. So now you're gonna press play. No such credentials. There you go, log in. I'm gonna log, blur it. There you go, it puts my username and my key into these two strings and it's logged in. Close it and play again. Logged in. And it puts everything and we're good. There you go. That's how you make a login saving system that automatically logs you in after you logged in the first time. So this is the whole kind of code. I guess you don't need this then, you can remove the end of frame here, you don't need that. And this is basically it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave an MFA to this in the description, in the comments, that way you can just download it and copy everything. And of course, whenever you want to change something in your game, you can replace button click to buy something else if you want to. But that was it. You can also, I guess, remove logged in if you want here, just leave the check mark do what you want this was the login saving tutorial and i'll leave it in the description comments and uh thanks for watching if you enjoyed it hope this helped you because i never i haven't seen any of these tutorials on google or on youtube so this can be a first so i hope you found this helpful and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye